Hello everybody. We're here today in Houston, Texas at the headquarters of Circle D Specialties. We're going to show you some of the processes and how they build their torque converters. We're also going to talk about Akuma twin turret lathe technology specifically and how it can be a game changer for your shop. Circle D Specialties history dates back to 1976 with the founding of Circle D Transmissions, a small transmission rebuild shop on the outskirts of Houston, Texas. In 1978, they started rebuilding torque converters for customers until eventually, in 1990, Circle D Specialties was formed as a separate entity to focus solely on the converter business. In simplistic terms, a torque converter is a fluid coupling device that mates an engine and transmission to the drivetrain of a vehicle with an automatic transmission. Think of the torque converter as doing the work of a clutch in a manual transmission setup. Circle D Specialties is most notably known for late model Ford, GM, and Mopar applications. Starting out in a 2,500 square foot shop, Circle D Specialties has grown to a 58,000 square foot facility with state-of-the-art manufacturing capabilities. Their partnership with Hartwig and Akuma began in 2017, starting with an Akuma Genos M560 machining center. The mill's dependability and accuracy, combined with the service and application support from Hartwig, has fostered a shop full of Akuma equipment, including a pair of LU4000EX twin turret lays, which we're going to focus on here in a moment. The torque converter starts out as a piece of 1026 mild steel. The material is forged in a general shape of the torque converter front cover, known internally to Circle D as a blank, to eliminate the need for hogging a bunch of excess material as would be required if a standard block of steel was used instead. This front plate blank is then chucked up to the LU4000EX. Let's talk about the big lathe. The Akuma LU4000EX is Akuma's latest evolution in 4-axis turning, with a 10-15 to 15 inch chuck. Two tools that work simultaneously provide process flexibility as well as high material removal rates. The large work ranges of the upper V12 and lower V8 turrets mean less interference and more flexibility. The LU4000EX has a 45 degree box bed with all box weight construction, which provides optimum support for the carriage and cross slide. So here we have the torque converter front blank inside the lathe. The first operation is roughing and finishing the engine side of the plate. Note that for this video and the demonstration purposes, the piece has been pre-cut and the coolant turned off so you can see the movement of the tool clearer. There are two big advantages to having two turrets available in a lathe. The first is what you see here. You can load each turret with different tooling to avoid tool change delays in the cut, therefore speeding up the machining process significantly over a single turret lathe. This torque converter front cover application uses six tools in turret A and six different tools in turret B. One is in the cut while the other changes. Circle D has saved about 35% in cycle time by going to the LU4000EX. By using this setup, you can also utilize both turrets in a way to where you can be cutting the OD on the upper turret and the ID on the lower turret. The other big advantage to having two turrets in a lathe is you can utilize pinch turning, like you're seeing here in this Akuma demonstration video. This is where both tools are making a cut simultaneously. Massive time-saving gains can be made here if the specific application warrants it. All right, but back to the torque converter. You're now seeing the splines being cut in the converter plate by way of internal broaching. You can see the broaching tool here in slow motion and it acts as a chisel. The LU4000EX utilizes the machine's live tooling turret to power a WTO broach. Since going to a WTO broach, Circle D's gotten about 10 times the tool life over the previous brand that was being used, all the while making a deeper cut. Here's the torque converter front cover as it comes out of the LU4000EX. From here, the cover heads over to the Akuma Genos M560 Machining Center, where the front of the cover is milled to fit the specific transmission specs of the vehicle that it's being made for. On the table here, you can see both sides of the torque converter cover from the start of the process to the end. While we're focusing on the front cover for this video, Circle D machines and manufactures all the other internals that go into the torque converter, like the stator and turbine, including the clutch assembly here that's being machined in an Akuma MU4000V 5-axis machining center. A skilled technician then assembles all the parts by hand while measuring all the internal tolerances to ensure they meet Circle D specs. From here, final assembly is completed by welding the front cover to the impeller assembly. After a surface coating, the torque converter is ready to be shipped to dealers and customers, and finally, ready to hit the track. For more information on Circle D specialties, you can check out their website in the link below. For more information on any of the technology showcased in today's show, you can email Hartwig at info at or click the link below to get a hold of your sales engineer.